You know, when I said I'd be playing a visual novel again, I never thought it would be this one. I love you, Carnal Sanders, a finger licking good dating simulator. That's right, I am. I'm playing the KFC official visual novel game. I don't know why Colonel Sanders looks so beachy. They updated him so he looks more hip for the young kids. Honestly, the feelings I have for this game are. Oh no. And maybe a little bit of. Oh yeah. So anyway, yes, this is made officially by KFC. Let's just get stuck straight in a new game and see what it has in store. Right, okay. Can't wait. Before we get, tell us your name. Well, if you guys didn't know, you know, it's the most famous of all names. Happens to be my big butt. That's right, the biggest my big butt here, all right? Let's confirm that. Oh, it's chicken time and biscuits. Chicken and biscuits! <laughs> Why does it look so tasty? I know this is a disgusting sellout for a KFC, but it just looks so delicious. Okay, so we're in the game, and it looks like we have Teen Idol Sensation BTS in the background, along with a freaking chicken. Right, that makes total sense to me. You guys know I'm the biggest BTS fan. What does BTS even stand for? Um buy their shit <laughs> probably that all right so what am i doing it you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment very modest there oh man do i live in this mess here apparently there's no hide window button here the world is peaceful and serene you can stay in the moment forever forever oh okay sure why not is I, I have a feeling that I'm supposed to be a girl in this here, but or you can wake up now, now, now. Your your first day of culinary school is oh god. Okay, I don't want a freaking chicken tell me to wake up. Smack that clock up and out. Throw the clock out of the window. Stay in bed forever. You know what? Yes. You slept through your school year and gave up on your once in a lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Game over. <laughs> I just lost just like that by wanting to sleep in? Man, come on, man. Sometimes I just want some sleep. All right, let's try that again. Fine, whatever. We'll try it again. Back back to the drumsticks and the biscuit. There's no reason for this. It's a visual novel. You're just doing this to show me biscuits and chicken. All right, smack clock. Smack the clock just like my cock a doodle do. Yeah, you see, I, I, I'm I totally uh, all ages friendly here. How's it going, guys? How you, how you, how you doing? All right, lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Okay. Academy for L Cooking School? That's like two schools. I mean, Academy is like it's just the Cooking Academy or something like that. Why, why would you need to put school in there? <laughs> That's it. Alright, all right, I guess. Your mind begins to wander. Who will uh, be there? What, what will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by and you find your imagination getting away from you. Oh. Oh, snaps. I already have some. Alright, you need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to dream a bit, thinking about the future. Oh. Well then. I don't, I don't think there's a save option, honestly. <laughs> I don't, I don't I don't think there is let's uh let's daydream a little bit huh it, it's here finally your first day of culinary school so uh so many dishes so many students to meet your mind is swimming with possibilities then you realize you're running late you grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry mmm delicious just what you need to wake up that's such a disgusting sellout oh no KFC stop it Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forget to put on uh, any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive in time. Uh-oh. What do you mean? Am I stinking or something right now? Oh, oh, get some of that, mmm, some of that noble musk. Okay, okay, maybe that's not for the best thing. All right, fine, whatever. 
Standing in the quad, you gaze up upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Again, University of Cooking School Academy for Learn. Like, University School Academy. Like, you got three different types of school words in there. You could have just said, like, the Academy for Cooking or something like that. I, all right, whatever. Anyway, here comes your lifelong best friend, Mi Miriam. Okay. Oh, Miriam, how you doing, girl? She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Oh, she's really cute there, all right? I'm not gonna lie. I, I like I like this, this little braided twin tail thing you got going on, the little bow on top, a bow with the chef hat. That doesn't really make much sense, let's be honest. Honestly, I wish there was a way for me to hide the screen. I'm not sure what button it would be. I literally tried every single button, but I don't think there is a button to hide it. Nah, I don't think KFC's decided that hiding the window would be a good option. <laughs> so, Alright, I guess there's no button to hide. Um, good morning, my big butt. Are you excited for the first day for the rest of our li- Oh, first day of the rest of our lives? Okay, we're going quite hard there. I'm glad they gave you a blinking option there. That's nice. Actually, I'm... Uh, because I sure am excited, a little nervous. Oh, okay, okay, a lot nervous. <laughs> all right, you're a little bit too much for me there, but all right, that's that's good to know. Uh, what the? Uh, it, it's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Oh, I I don't know. Well, you know, shit happens. Not everybody's a winner. That's right, guys. All of you are losers. <laughs> At least at one point in your life, okay? Then sometimes you're also winners. Anyway, what's going on here? Uh, classic Miriam. Raised by master chef parents, she always held herself in a very high standard. Ever since we were little babies playing together, you, uh, you rescued me from that quicksand box. It, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. Wait, a quick sandbox? What? A quick sandbox? What? Okay, honey, go play in the quick sandbox while mommy and daddy run away for the rest of our lives. <laughs> like, what? A quick sandbox? Who sends their kid to play in a quick sandbox? What messed up world are we living in here, KFC? Alright. Oh. There's voice acting? Uh, very slight voice acting, but with University of Cooking School Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semester, I'm afraid of being left behind and never get- Three-day only semesters? Okay, now they're just making this an entire joke. Okay, so the three-school thing is just the joke. Alright. A sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Oh, wait. We can't date her? Is she already dating somebody? I demand a redo. Why can't you date the child and friend? This time, the child and friend already has a husband now? What's that about, homie? A anyway, all right. Yeah, should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Uh... Pep talker, you know what, let's pep talk our best friend here. Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet. And she told her that you were destined for great things. You know, just believe in some random person that told you, yeah, one day you'll be all right. <laughs> hey guys, yeah, one day you'll, you'll make something of yourself. Totally. You can trust this face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys believe that. Uh, remember that card with the fancy looking tower and the other featuring that handsome fellow in a red suit? Uh, I've been waiting for so long to meet the handsome fellow I could call my own. Wait, I thought you were, wait, you were practicing or were you not practicing for somebody you already knew? And I'm sure you, uh, you will soon. And in no time, we'll be graduating. You'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk Mary up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have those killer bangs. <laughs> These killer bangs? 
I mean, I mean, yeah, sure. That's, I mean, they are nice. I did, I did compliment those bangs. Um, can you believe I cut them myself? Uh, you can definitely believe it. I, I mean, it is anime hair. I, uh, I cannot believe it. Before you can get another word out, you are rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books uh, and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your own uh, hands and onto the ground. Who would knock my spoons and books to the ground? Hey! Oh, it's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can't get anything she wants, and she she can get anything she wants, and she knows. Oh, Ashley! What? Did your parents hate you as a child to spell Ashley so incorrectly? <laughs> Who names their kid that kind of Ashley? Why would you do that to your poor child? Anyway, um, she's cute. She's got the fangs, she's got the boobs, and most importantly, she's got those trickin' drumsticks tight! Oh, God! Yes! <laughs> anyway, hello, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. Chicken shins? Wow. You're the, you're the one with actually, you know, chicken on maybe your shins there. Anyway, uh, you leave my big butt shins alone! They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. I know, I know right? Uh, you know for a fact that it's actually Ashley. But she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than- Oh, so that was on purpose? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's disgusting. She also has her tongue out there, too. I don't know why, but I secretly want to flirt with her. I want to get with those thick chicken drumsticks that she's got going on right there. Look, man! I have a weakness for thighs! You have them too, don't you deny it! You're just as disgustingly weeb as me! You clicked on this video! Don't deny it! <laughs> alright, alright, anyway. Um, if anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Uh, we're not gonna let you or your weird inserts get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van, the man man has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. <laughs> am, am I checking out a guy's buttocks? I mean, if it's if he's got a good butt, you know, like, it's nothing wrong with complimenting a good, fantastic butt, all right? Just go ahead and say it, all right? It's a fantastic butt. Him and Van Van. Oh, wow, that is a yikes look she's got going on there, honey buddy. Um, oh, you rang rang. <laughs> okay, is this a mother freaking JoJo reference here? All right, I'm pretty sure this is the JoJo reference. Um, oh, dear lord. With the most ridiculous hairstyle and everything and the perfect face, yes, of course. You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been j just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. Devious? Oh, okay. He's got spiky belts there, she's pouting, and she's just like, uh I don't think she wants anything to do with Van Van, actually, though, that face. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. I know, right? You think they just hand us our diplomas now? <laughs> oh, wow. Or maybe hire us as professors. The amateurs can learn a lot from us. With the first days of school about to start, they're just, uh, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So, you resist the urge. I, I'm pretty sure they meant no time and not time, but you know, that's, that's okay. Uh, let's go, Miriam. Psst. See you later, losers. Oh, God, there's another one. Who is this kid? As you approach the doors, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. All right, all right. Oh, wh why is it repeating the weird sound effects? Why you got a juice box, boy? Did he just fart? 
That's what you do? You don't just fart as an introduction, okay? You at least gotta let... Get to know me, take me out on a few dates, let me feel comfortable around you, then the farting rule can be, like, passed over here, alright? <laughs> anyway, uh, Oopsie. I think it's broken! You reach for it and easily pull the door open. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you! Oh, okay, Mr. Mustard Boy there. Jesus, okay, alright there, Porky Pig. I think you mean thank you. Uh, my name's Pap. Uh, I was named after my Pap Pap. He's old. Wow. Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad that your Pop Pop's old. Is that your granddad? Could someone like this also be a student at this school? He must be a one egg of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob, but I, I guess he's reading it upside down. Alright, so they're all stupid. Okay, great. I'm glad. No requirements to get in this school. I, I guess just chicken. Um, hi, Pop. My name's My Big Butt, so, uh... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Get in there! Alright, so he's scared. Uh, nope. And with that, the young man walks to the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me, or is he kind of cute? Miriam, are you into stupid boy? <laughs> Be honest with me, honey. All right, all right, sure, if you're in the chubby ones. I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. Wait, what? What is, what, what is this here? Why is it staring at me and into my soul? I don't like it. Ah, I feel violated. Get rid of it. Oh, I'm gonna rip, I'm gonna put something over it. All right, what? Well, there's chicken on the board here too, along with like some what is this calculus or other stuff there. There's pie on the table. All right, sure, why not? You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander and keep themselves busy chit chatting. No, no, you telling me I'm gonna be taught by a dog professor with a spatula? Alright, man. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at the podium in front of the class. Adorable. Okay. No, no, quiet everyone. <laughs> what the heck? You're gonna make a corgi teach the class. That that's that's the podium there? It's like a little Greek pillar or something he's standing on there. Alright. Um Who is this unreasonably cute pup? And why is he in our culinary class? You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCS AL. Oh. Okay, so now he's up there. Oh, okay. please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute uh, and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect, woof. All right, they're not taking this game seriously at all. I, I, can, I can sense that. What? A cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever! Um, I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Uh, I'm sure, you know? Is that before or after they lick their butts? <laughs> okay, um, out of nowhere. Oh, okay, we got soccer pedals going down now. Uh, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossoms pelts. Fill the air inside the classroom. Oh no, what's going on now? Uh, I'm chilly. Someone close the window. And then, oh, I think I know what's going on now. He walks in. Oh, Colonel Sanders Senpai. Oh, am <laughs> Oh, okay. Great. You immediately swept in the aura of his, of the new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. Oh, oh, hold on, I'm covering his face. I mean, I guess they made Colonel Sanders very handsome there. He's he's a lot younger now, that's for certain. He's just progressed. He's he just looks like maybe a hipster or something. I don't I don't know. <laughs> he's got he's got a pen. Oh, Sharpie, all right. Uh, it's him. It's... If, if it isn't my favorite student, Harland. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. 
Um, please. Call me Khan. <laughs> oh god! Am I gonna have to give him the beastiest voice? Um, Colonel Sanders. A hush murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Oh, said by place! Notice me! Uh, sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you. And you're not entirely wrong. Uh, and this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Oh no! It's because I forgot my deodorant! Maybe we should open a window back up before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. Oh, just because I daydreamed! No! Um. Hold on a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is all uh, with all your really weird insults? Besides, when my big butt sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Oh, thank you. You see, somebody gets it. Back in the day, Sweaty Noble couldn't help himself, alright? <laughs> but now I have AC. And everything is just fine. Oh, you turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of me. Wait, what? Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is. Stop it, game. You're selling it too much now. Stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, Harry. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Is he supposed to be yeehaw mode here, K. Kona, brother? Uh, boy, howdy! This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. Yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, all right. All right, country boy. Please use my handkerchief. Oh, oh, God. What is it? His forearms are so freaking muscular. They look more muscular than his biceps. What the heck? Oh, stop it. Just stop it right now before I vomit. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking. Stop it. I don't, oh my God, no. <laughs> you know, I have the most mixed feelings about Colonel Sanders sent by wanting to blow me a kiss like that. I don't know, man. Maybe his lips taste like chicken. It could be all right. <laughs> Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you? About how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Uh, how will you respond? Refuse or take the handkerchief? Just take the handkerchief. Alright, why not? You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful. You hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent. Oh, wait, chicken? It smells like the most delicious chicken. You've had. Yeah, it was chicken. It smells like chicken. All right. I guess that's something. Honestly, I don't. I don't think I'd want to smell like chicken. That'd be very weird. What if people would want to eat me? That sounds very wrong. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and sets up some ground rules. Welcome to the University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood. There might be really adorable tiny food. TINY FOOD! Oh, my favorite, like, tiny little burger. Uh, and when it all is said and done, there will be a battle. Uh, you will lift your sports to compete in the broom cooking arena. The The... What? There's gonna be like a battle royale now? Where, where are we gonna drop? All right, <laughs> this is gonna be like Fortnite or something right there. I don't. <laughs> okay, food wars maybe. Just then, another student answers the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. But anyway, that's where we're gonna end our first little episode here. Who's gonna be this new student that comes in and interrupts the rousing speech? Who can say for certain? <laughs> All we know is, is I have Colonel Sanders blowing me a kiss and flooring with me on the first day of Kentucky Fried Chicken School Academy. I I don't know. If you guys want to see some more of this 
series, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe. Oh, if you if you miss it, all right, that's your own fault. You gotta hit that notification bell, and I'll see you, beautiful sons of guns, again on the next exciting Colonel Sanders adventure. You crazy mother. Yeah.